Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. I'm Alex. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create an FTP account on your WordPress website and also how you can connect to your account using the likes of FileZilla and Notepad++. Now, just to be clear, if you don't know what FTP is, FTP stands for the File Transfer Protocol and it allows you to connect to the most important files that make up your WordPress website. I'm talking about the theme files, the plugin files, even the core files of your WordPress installation. FTP allows you to do so and it's great because you don't have to go through the back end of your WordPress website in order to uh, connect to those files. So having an FTP account and knowing how to use that account is a very useful skill for any WordPress user. Now, this isn't the first time I've created tutorials like this. In fact, back in 2016, I created a tutorial on how to use FileZilla. And also in 2018, I created a tutorial on how to use uh, Notepad++. And as you can imagine, it's 2021, things have changed and as such, I need to update uh, these tutorials. But there's also a second reason why I am making this video. That's because my very next tutorial here on YouTube, I'm gonna show you how you can troubleshoot the most common issues and errors on WordPress websites. And a big part of that tutorial will rely on your ability to create an FTP account and also use FTP to troubleshoot those errors. That's why I am also making this tutorial because it's gonna be very, very useful for you. Now, just to let you know, I will be showing you how you can create your FTP account and how you can also use FileZilla. FileZilla is a software for connecting to your WordPress website via FTP. You do have versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so you're covered there. Now, Notepad++ is a little bit different from uh, FileZilla because with FileZilla, you can only download and upload. With Notepad++, you can actually open the files directly on Notepad++, make whatever edits that you want to make, and then save the files directly on your server. The slight challenge here is that Notepad++ is only available for Windows, but if you are a Mac user, there are many other uh, alternatives out there. In fact, I found this article listing the top 10 best alternatives to Notepad++. So you have the likes of Atom, Sublime Text, uh, you have Textastic and so on. Just make sure that if you're gonna choose any one of these uh, alternatives, make sure they have the ability to create and connect uh, via FTP to your WordPress website. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Uh, let me show you how you can create an FTP account and then connect uh, to that FTP account. So I'm over here on SiteGround and if you're using a different web host, uh, whether it's GoDaddy or Bluehost or what have you, uh, they will have something similar like this. They will have a control panel. You can contact them, tell them that, hey, you know, I'd like to create an FTP account, uh, help me out. But if you're with SiteGround, it's very easy. What you want to do is you want to go over to the site link right here and then click on FTP accounts. Automatically, you will see the account name and then the at and then your domain. In this case right now, I'm just going to say uh, Alexo at coursetyrant.com and then I'll go ahead and add a password. Let me make sure that this is correct. And there you go. So I'm just going to click on create right now. And there it is. So we're going to need certain information. We do have the username right now, which is alexo at callstand.com. We have the host name, which is callstand.com. And then we have the port number. And then we also have our password. Now, for the actual editing of the files themselves, I use a text editor, which is the Notepad++. It's free and it's for PC users. So if you have another text editor that you're comfortable with, by all means, uh, you can use that text editor. You don't have to use Notepad++, but if you like to use Notepad++, let me show you how to make use of it. Well, first of all, you'll go to notepad-plus.org uh, and then you go to the download page right here and then simply download a version. I'm gonna go with the 7.8.8 uh, release. Okay, and then of course, make sure you're downloading the right version, whether it's uh, x86 or x64. Mine is x64, so I'm going to click on the installer right here and then simply uh, download the file. And it's not large, it's about four megabytes. So here it is linked right here. I'm going to click in there and then click on yes to begin the installation. English is my language. Click on next. I agree. Next. Next. You can create a shortcut if you want. Install. And now we can run the Notepad++ and 
here is the window right here. This is going to be the text editor, which we're going to use to connect to our FTP account and then start making changes to our files. However, by default, the plugin that would allow us to connect Notepad++ to our FTP account isn't installed. So we have to do so manually. Now, how do you do this? You're going to go over to the plugins link right here, go to plugins admin, and then right here, simply search for FTP. You will see NPP FTP. You click in there, click on install, click on yes, click on yes again. And this shouldn't take too long. And there you go. Now, if we go back to plugins, you will now see NPP FTP. Just hover on it and then you will see the show NPP FTP window. You click in there and now we can add our FTP account to our Notepad text editor. So to do this, I'm going to go over to the gear button right here, click on profile settings, come down here to click on add new, and then I'll just call this one uh, course tyrant, which is basically the domain course tyrant. Okay. And now we can add the host name, which of course will be our course tyrant uh, dot com. And then the port number is 21 automatically. Uh, Alexo at cool, uh, I'm sorry, at course tyrant.com. And then I'm going to add my password. And there you go. This is, remember, this is the files or the information we got from our, our FTP account right here. So I'm going to go back in here and now click on close. And now right here, you'll have the button to connect to your FTP account. I'm going to click in there. Click to connect to Cost Tyrant. And now you can see I have access to the Cost Tyrant folder. I can expand this one right here. And now I have access to uh, the folder and files that make up my uh, WordPress website. So that's how you can create your FTP account on SiteGround. And of course, how you can also install Notepad and then connect Notepad to your. Uh, FTP account. Working with FileZilla is pretty straightforward. First of all, you will need to download and install the application. So you're going to go to FileZilla-project.org and from here you will have two options. Either you download the FileZilla client for all platforms or you go with the FileZilla server for Windows. Uh, you want to go with the client version, not the server version. Okay, so I'm going to click on download FileZilla client. And of course, from here, I'm going to go ahead now and simply click on the green button to download. And of course, right here, uh, you do have the option of going with like, you know, FileZilla with manual and FileZilla Pro. Just go with the very simple uh, FileZilla option. So I'm going to go ahead now, click on download and I'm going to save the file. And it's pretty lightweight. It's about 14 megabytes. Uh, let's just wait for the download to finish. And there it is. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here. And of course, I'm going to go ahead now to simply uh, click on I agree. And it's waiting to install. And all right, so you do have the option of allowing anybody to use FileZilla on your PC or maybe just you. Uh, since I'm the only person, it's, yeah, I'll just go with only for me. This option doesn't really matter. Click on next. Uh, we can include a desktop icon as well. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. And I am not going to install the additional software. That's because we're using the free version of files. Let's try to get us to install uh, additional software. I'm going to click on decline. And uh, now we're just going to wait. And there you go. So it's finished installing. I'm going to start files right now. And there you go. So this is exactly how it's going to look like on the left side. You'll have access to your computer while the right side will be access to the server. So just like with Notepad++, you will have to add your host name, username, and password. So let's try that. I'm going to go back in here, go to my site tools. Let's grab the FTP host name, first of all. Go back to FileZilla right here. Paste that. I'm going to add my password, first of all. And it's port 21. And let me just confirm once again the account name. It's Alexo at Cost Tyrant. So I'm going to go back in here, paste that, and now we can quick connect. And it's going to say, okay, well, you know, it's an uncertificate. I'm going to say yes. Just click on OK to connect. 
And there you go. So now we have access to the back end of my WordPress website and here are all the files. And of course, on the left side, I can access my documents. I can simply uh, download files, upload files. So as an example, if I wanted to download the wp-config.php file into my folder right here, named .htaccess, I'll just double click. And right now you can see that wp-config.php file now exists on my desktop and vice versa, I can simply also double click on the left side and that will automatically upload files from my desktop to the server. Just make sure that you're working within the right uh, folders whenever you're uploading and uh, downloading files. Well, that brings us to the end of today's tutorial where I've shown you how to create your FTP account and also how you can use Notepad++ and FileZilla to connect to your FTP accounts. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit from it. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.